Morning Show. My name's Cameron Fickard here at Traders Network Club. And yesterday we got in three trades and it looks like we just cashed out on all three of them and got our 60 pips, okay? We looked for 20 pips in the market in each trade and we cashed out all three trades yesterday, man. That's what we do here. And let's go dive into the market right now and see if there's any other opportunities for us to get in some trades today. So I'll see you guys right after this break. All right, welcome back, everybody. Just like I said, three trades we just cashed out yesterday, and that's what we do here at Trade Network Club when we scalped out for 20 pips in the market, okay, as we use our strategy with demand and supply and dollar cost averaging, okay? Now, I did notice that uh, last week, one of the videos I did, one of the live shows I did uh, last week, and I looked back at it, and it was pretty laggy, so I had some bad connection. Um, if you guys notice anything that that's um, looks like it's lagging or disconnecting while I'm talking, uh, just please go ahead and comment that in the, in the section so I can see um, that it's on my end. Um, I would like to know that. So just go ahead. Don't be afraid and let me know. Um, so then I can go ahead and find out what the problem is and we can fix that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we're still in the U.S. CAD. Uh, if anyone else got in that, that was a trade that uh, FX Big Dog made on a Friday. It wasn't one of my live trading shows. So um, if you guys are following the Telegram and the trade signals, uh, if you got that and you got in the same trade, we are still holding on the U.S. CAD. Good morning, John. Good morning, everybody. And um, I know yesterday I said I was going to give you a little snippet of the Discord. Um, possibly I can probably give you that tomorrow because it, it's going to be done later today. So there's a lot of stuff going and fixing with the discord channel right now. Uh, I really, I'm excited to show you guys, but won't be able to show you right now today, but possibly tomorrow, um, as we finish our s session for the week, I can show you at the end of the session tomorrow. Um, if it's possibly done, it should be done. And I can give you guys a little snippet tomorrow. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Tegas. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the market, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in the market and see what opportunities we have. Uh, so let me go pull up my, damn, all right. So we can start off with the Aussie cat. All right, looks like the Aussie cat had a little breakthrough through a trend line. We're close to support. Let me go ahead and take a look at the one hour here so I can see a bigger time frame. Okay. <clears throat> so here's a previous uh, supply zone right here. Oh, that didn't work out. So here's a previous supply zone. <clears throat> okay. So price is uh right now moving on the up trend year. Just bounced off file demand zone. Broke through the trend line. And uh let's see here. Looking at this. It looks like price just broke here looking at the one hour price just broke through our previous low high now usually when this kind of happens or usually when this does happen price is going to come back down to fill come back into liquidity this can be anywhere around this zone right here usually when you're looking for those auto blocks those candle wicks um price comes back 
into liquidity, and then we get a nice little bounce. Okay. So as we use our cost to average, and price starts dropping down, we go and we go ahead and, and uh, dollar cap, dollar cost average, in. Okay. That's the strategy we do here with supply and demand and dollar cost averaging. Okay. Oops, let me go ahead and do that. So go back into go back to the 15 minute time frame. All right, so you're looking at the 50 minute time frame. You can see here, just I'm just trying to get an understanding of momentum right now. And you can see price came back here, created a, a, a low high, and broke through this high. And we had a nice drop off to go ahead, um, price go into liquidity, which it actually went down a lot than I, I would have thought because I would have assumed right in this zone here. Okay, right in this zone, right over here somewhere, is where the liquidity would be. And price kind of dropped right below that, which is fine. But now you can see price is starting to come back up. And it looks like we're going to be moving on a bullish momentum here. Um, so price is going to be trying to move towards this next uh, um, supply zone. Okay. Uh, uh. And you can even see prices kind of consolidating right now. Price is definitely consolidating. And are we getting any? Okay. So look at this right now. So we are getting some negative divergence. Okay. So we are getting some negative divergence. So price is going to drop. Okay, price is going to drop. Um, so let's go ahead and check out. Okay, so. Prices even need to get back to that demand zone. So right now, usually we do have this consolidation. Sometimes we have this pattern where uh, price likes to consolidate, okay, and then it just has a little sell-off here, okay. So with that being said, do we want to go ahead and target that 20 pips? Or with a step increase lots as we dollar cost average in, do we want to go ahead and buy? And as price drops down, we go ahead and we dollar cost average in. And as then price goes back up, we hit our target, but we get a better entry. Okay, as we get our, 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 um, our increased step lot sizes. Okay, so that means our profit's going to be bigger. Or if we just go ahead and just target and sell and just target out 20 pips, which is not going to be a lot, but at the same time, it's safer. Uh, that's going to be the question. Now, oops. Now, we usually like to stick with our strategy. Okay. We like to sell. That's a uh, at support and uh, I'm mean, sorry, buy at support and sell resistance. Okay, so price is kind of sitting near a support level at the demand zone here, and price is starting to move up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick to our strategy and use our dollar cost averaging. Okay, where price is gonna come back down, and then we get more entries as price goes back up. We go ahead and we profit more. Okay. 
So on the Aussie CAD, let's go ahead and buy. And what we can do is we can go ahead before we uh, buy on the, on the Aussie CAD right now. Can you explain cost average? Uh, yes, uh, Clarence. Uh, I was just explaining that, but I can go ahead and explain it again. So as we get, um, as we buy here in the market at the price, and as price keeps going down, we're going to go ahead and have these limits, these buy limits, where we keep going in. So as price comes down, we're going to go and buy and get more entries. And what, what happens is, is we have a step increase lot size. For each entry so we start off with one micro lot and as we keep getting in these other entries sorry i'm not good at drawing here we keep increasing it by one micro lot okay so we have a step increase lot size and as it keeps going and going as price keeps going and then as soon as price comes back up i'll target say if our target was your uh, 20 pips right 20 pips right here and as we keep buying into more entries, as price keeps going down, our 20 pip target is going to co come down with us. So then soon as we come back up, we can hit our target sooner. Okay. I hope that explains well. I'm not the best drawer. <laughs> so with that being said, on the Aussie CAD, let's go ahead and buy. Aussie CAD, buy position, yes. And just like that, I am using the Pip Hunter Train tool. If you guys are interested in this tool, it's so easy and so simplified to get into these trades. Um, you can go ahead and check out Starter membership um, on our website. There you will have access to this Pip Hunter trading tool. Okay. All right. Before we get to the next trade, guys, please go ahead and smash the like button. Um, that we really appreciate. Support the channel. And smash the like button and as you do that as well please go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel um traders network club as you can also go and subscribe to ethics big dog uh channel okay so go ahead and check that out and if you guys are so want to know more about our trade pip hunter uh our pip hunter trading replicator um you can go ahead and check that on our website in the professional membership and uh, as you can tell, we are, as you can see, we are doing amazing with our Pip Hunter Trade Replicator. Um, it's over 150% last year, and this year we're even doing bigger. Um, we're on pace for almost over 200% this year. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check out professional membership um, on our website. Everything is in the link. Uh, Everything is in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, so we're long the Aussie CAD. Let's go ahead. Check the euro use dollar. Oh, wow, look at that. That's just going to be, this is an easy one right here. As you can see, we have a huge sell-off, so there's a lot of imbalance zones right here. Okay, and price is definitely going to have to come back up and fill, these, fill out this imbalance zone. Okay, so price, and is this a price just moved back down there to that uh, demand zone? Okay, so that's a that's a very strong previous demand zone that price is at. So we are sticking to our strategy: buy at demand, buy at support. Okay, prices you can just see not only we're close to this demand zone, but we're at also this previous support okay so we have previous support we're moving at the uh, right above above the demand zone we even have price breaking through this trend line now it's coming back to test the support 
<clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and buy to see if I have any positive divergence. Not, not really. No, I do not have any di positive divergence yet. Okay. So, anyways, buy support, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So the euro US dollar, pretty easy to now to analyze. Analyze. Ah. That's what happens when your ears blocked. You can't even hear yourself pronounce the words. Uh, let's go to what was that? Euro US dollar, right? Euro US dollar. And we're gonna go ahead and buy on the euro, euro US dollar. And do you want to open buy position? Yes. And bam, we are in the euro, euro US dollar. Oh man, it's been a little early morning for me. All right, so there we're in two positions, two long positions, and we still got the cat Swiss and the New Zealand cat left. Okay. So let's go ahead. And check that out before we check that out of course i'm going to show you guys a video year brought you brought by our sponsor acap All right, there it is, guys. If you guys are interested in that broker at ACAP, go ahead and check out um, the link in the description below. It's all there for you guys if you guys are interested in that. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the CAD Swiss here. <clears throat> all right, CAD Swiss, look at you. Take a look at the one hour here. So it looks like the one hour we actually got a, a downtrend here in the one hour. As price started creating. Hmm. Did have price break through this previous low high right here, but it seems like it only broke through with one candle. I usually like to look for two candle breakthroughs. Let's go to that 15 minute time frame. So we are in a little downtrend here. We are in a downtrend. We are close to our resistance. Okay. Here's our previous resistance right here. Okay. But not only that, price is moving just below our support. I mean, sorry, our, uh, geez, our uh, uh, supply zone. <laughs> so price is just below our supply zone, and it's moving right close to our previous resistance right here. Okay. As you can see, price came back up, bounced off here, just broke through here, but didn't, didn't like it, came back down, came back down a lot here, and then came back up test it, to test that resistance again. So even with this trend line, we have another resistance. As you can see here, as price comes back to the system of this trend line. And price right now is testing that trend line. So we are at a resistance and we stick to our, our plan. We sell our resistance. Okay. Let me go ahead and see. Let's see if I see. See if I see any negative divergence. What I do see here, it's pretty flat um, as of right now, which is an exaggerated divergence, which is just a pretty good, oh wow, I have all these ants on my screen. We're having some ant problems over here. So many ants just all over my desk. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, so anyways, 
we do have right here, if I could just show you, as momentum is flat right here on these two highs, we kind of have price going up, which gives us an exaggerated divergence. So that's usually showing how momentum is going to change here. So we might have a little, we're going to have a sell off here. So let's go ahead and see on the cat Swiss, guys. We're getting in these trades, baby. Come on now. You guys are ready for this, man. I hope you guys had your coffee and breakfast because we're moving. So, Cat Swiss, we're going. Let me just double check that was the Cat Swiss. Yep, that was the Cat Swiss. Okay. All right, so Cat Swiss, let's go ahead and sell. Do you want to open sell position? Yes. And that is it, guys. So far, we've gotten three trades today. Okay. So the recap is the euro US dollar, we are long. Aussie CAD, we are long. And the CAD Swiss, we just got in short on the CAD Swiss. Now we have the New Zealand CAD left. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with the New Zealand CAD. Gary, get them pips, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we do. We get them pips. So New Zealand CAD, our last, our last pair to look at. Let's see if we can go ahead and find an opportunity to get in this one. And let's, let's cash out in all these pairs, right? Besides, obviously, the, the U.S. CAD. U.S. CAD seems like it's uh, still right now in the drawdown, but it's going to be moving. We can always take a look at that after this. Uh, oh, look at this, Lori. Lori's giving me a nice little uh, natural remedy here to use for her. The ants I'm having here. Mix one tablespoon powdered sugar and one tablespoon baking soda and sprinkle where you see ants will cook. Oh, thank you, Laura. I actually just found out that too. And that's what we actually did uh, yesterday. So I think I might do it again. Um, I can see there's a little, uh, uh, not a, you know, seems like there's fewer ants than, than usual. So it seems like it worked, but I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So thank you for that, that uh, helpful comment there. I can tell you've uh you've been used to dealing with some ants, huh, Lord? <laughs> uh, all right. So New Zealand CAD. Look at this. Oh yeah. So this New Zealand CAD is uh when we had this little breakthrough through this demand zone. Okay. So yeah, I'm looking at the one hour. Price is here at the demand zone. Our previous high here. Okay. So we do we got a breakthrough here. We got a breakthrough the trend line. Price is moving up. I'd like to see price break through this previous higher, but let's go ahead and take a look at the 50 minute. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So as you can see, price. Okay. Is our previous size. Oh, look at this. So, price is creating new eyes here. So, we are creating. As you can see, we're creating higher lows here, okay? So price is definitely moving up. We definitely got momentum moving up. And we are at the demand zone, okay? We are at a pretty strong demand zone here where price likes to get, likes to uh, go up from here. So New Zealand cat guys. <clears throat> okay. New Zealand cat. We're at, we're in our demand zone. What we do is we buy we buy at, we buy in our, we buy at demand, we buy at support and that's what we're going to do. Now we could have a little correction here. Um and that's fine because that's what we even that's actually what we want, okay? 
to go in and, and get those bigger gains. Okay, I know you guys love the, love those bigger gains because uh, if we do get that correction, um, then we will go ahead and dollar cost average in, and with our increased step lot size, we will go ahead and hit our target with bigger gains. Okay, and we love that, don't we, huh? So yeah, let's go ahead. Buy the New Zealand cat, guys. We got in all these trades. New Zealand CAD, let's go ahead and buy. And uh, yes, New Zealand CAD, buy. So there it is, guys. Got in all the trades. Um, besides the US CAD, we're still holding that from last week. But today, four trades we're in. And, and um, let's hopefully we can. Or, um, you know, soon, and we'll see tomorrow when I see you guys again for our last session for the week. We'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and recap all this and, and see what happens. And obviously look for more trade opportunities like we do every day. So there it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the session today. Um, like I said, we are going to be moving to four private live sessions with me on um, these shows. Uh, for our starter pro members, okay, and uh, and tomorrow, like I said, I'm gonna show you a snippet. Hopefully, it should be done today. Our Discord channel, but I can show you tomorrow after our session a little snippet of our Discord channel, so you guys can get an idea of what we're trying to build here for our starter pro members. It's all about building a community and just helping each other, okay? And uh, it's just kind of an exclusive. Um, membership where you can really interact with me in these live training sessions and interact with the community. That's what we're trying to build here. US CAD, yeah, Gary, we can go ahead and check that US CAD out. Um, I can see already we're still in the drawdown right here. We're still negative. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and check that that US CAD. We're, we're we're in a short position in US CAD. Look at that price broke through. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the one hour here. All right. Okay, so the US CAD, look at this, man. The US CAD is freaking booming right now. Look at the look at this. This thing is not slowing down. Oh, well, we it is slowing down now. As you can see, there is a lot of consolidation here. Okay. And usually when we have a huge uh, a buy right here, okay. Usually, when we have a nice pump like this, and we get we get price moving in consolidation, then we usually get a nice little drop off, okay, a little sell off here. So that's not, that's a pattern we will be looking for. But what we're also looking for is price to break through a previous high low, okay. So as you can see here, looking at my MACD, he has a downtrend right here where price created a low. Then over here, it gets another downtrend with price create. I'm looking at the lowest point in that in that downtrend, which is right here. Create another high low. Okay. Price came back over here. Create another high low. Uh, right probably here. Then create another high low right here. Another one right here. And now that's the previous one. So we're waiting for price to break through this. So when price breaks through uh, our previous high low, that's usually the signal of showing that we are getting a switch of momentum, that price is going to go back down. And usually when we break through this, price is always going to come back up to fill liquidity. And usually it's these little candle wicks over here in the zone right here. Price will come back to liquidity, and then it will start going ahead and moving back down. Okay. But now that's only if price goes ahead, go ahead and break through these previous lows. It could keep going up and creating more higher lows. But that's what we're looking for. We're looking for price to break through this previous low. But right now, as you can tell, price is in a consolidation. So let me go ahead and take a look at the 50 minute time frame because I, I am on the one hour here. So let me take a look closer here. So you're in the 50 minute time frame. Look at this. Here's the previous low right here. Actually, it's this work right here. And it looks like price broke through that. So look at this. Let me go ahead and zoom in.
it's actually if we zoom in now, he is actually he is the previous low right here. As you can see, he has a little downtrend right here. But price broke through that, okay? And look what happened. As price broke through that, it came back up to fill in all this liquidity right here, okay? Came back up to liquidity, and now we're starting to get it going back down. Now, do we see any negative divergence? Um, we can say we saw some negative divergence over here, right? As we got that, price was flat, and we got some negative divergence right here, okay? So there is a momentum switch, and then we got price to come back down to go ahead and break that previous high-low, and price obviously had to go back up to liquidity, so now I'm expecting price to keep going down from here, okay? So, so yeah. So US CAD, I'm expecting US CAD to keep going back down. And uh we'll see how that goes. So right now we're just still holding, still, still waiting there, Gary. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys. Thank you again for watching and supporting. Make sure you go ahead and smash that like button again. Please we'll just support us and it just keeps us making more videos. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Pip Hunter trading show. And uh, that's it, guys. Appreciate you guys. You guys have a great, wonderful day. And then, uh, enjoy the rest of your trading. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys.